Hey guys, it's Pastor Patrick here at Idlewild, and I am here to work with you on your Awana verse, but also to tell you, when my kids were growing up, it was so fun. I'd be at home, the kids would come up, knock on the door of my house, and say, hey, can Christy and Curtis come out and play? So they would come out, they'd be playing for a little bit, and then they'd come back, they'd ask Christy and Curtis, so uh, can your dad come out and play? And so I'd come out and play. We'd jump on the trampoline. We had a limit though. No more than like seven or eight on the trampoline at a time. We had our limits. There were times when Christy and Curtis would go play at the neighbor's house. I would hear them out there playing. So I knew that they would hear me. And so I'd come out, Christy, Curtis! And I knew that they heard me, but they chose not to hear me necessarily. And yes, I literally spanked my children for not hearing my voice. But get this, every time after that, whenever I would yell for my kids, they had learned to listen for my voice. And whenever they heard me, even no matter what all was going on, they would hear my voice and they're like, I hear my dad. And that's what our verse is kind of about today. When I think of John, whoop, chapter 10, verse 14. Bible says, Jesus saying, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. So how do we learn that here? John whoop, 10, 14. I am the good shepherd. Now think of a shepherd, like, you know, holding the shepherd's cane. So I am the good shepherd. I know. This is actually the sign language for know. You hold it up here, you go, I know. So I know my own and my own know me. And so like my kids, and throughout John, you're going to see there in the rest of chapter 10 there is we know, he knows, we know his voice. He knows us. We follow him. That's what this is talking about, like a sheep following the good shepherd. So John, whoop, 10, 14. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Practice it. Learn it. See you Sunday.